we start with the following directory structure. So we have any.lua inside blame. And user.lua is to demonstrate how the user is going to use this plugin. By setting blame to nil, we can reload the plugin just by running this file. So we don't have to reopen new vim every time we make a change. So to start, we just try to execute a git blame command in the setup function. So for that, we need a file name and also the line number. So now we can use those values inside git blame command. And we have to run the command and get the output. And for now, we just print out the output to make sure that the git blame is being run. So going back to user.lua file and running the file should display a git blame command for that particular line. So personally, I like to keep the setup function clean. So I'm just going to extract this into another function and maybe call it uh, blame. Another thing you might notice is the output contains a extra new line at the end of the output. So let's remove that. So now we can set a key bind to execute the blame command. rerun the user.lua and check the GB is working. And I think that's enough for this video.